Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be going over an AGR config file which has been created and shared to us by someone in the community called AH Revolvers. So this config file allows us to put in our AGR recordings into the config file so that when we go and record our AGR into HLAE, we won't need to copy and paste the commands in or the settings in and we won't need to type any of them out. This is going to save us a lot of time just from not having to type it out. It's also going to help reduce any errors with the recording in case you misspell something or anything like that. It's also going to allow us to record both the POV arms and the world model of our AGR recording so that we don't have to do two AGR recordings which of course saves us time and space. So I'm going to be showing you how to download a config file, adjust a config file so that you have the AGR settings that you want, how to use the config file and ex execute it in HLAE to record your AGR and then we're going to import it into Blender and just show you that it works. Also, please check out AH Revolver's YouTube channel. It will be linked in the description below. He makes different types of videos such as scripts, add-ons and plugins. You may find this helpful. So yeah, check him out. So once you have used this link in the description to download your AGR config file. You can also get it from the Discord. The link to that will be in the description as well. You will receive a folder called AGR config. We're going to open it up. And as you can see, there is a NOS document inside and an AGR CFG file. This is the one that we want. We want to make sure to not rename it. If you do know anything about coding and stuff, maybe you can change the name and it will work for you. But if you don't know anything, don't do it just in case because I, I found it didn't work for me. Anyway, we're going to open this in Notepad. So we're going to left click on it, right click on it, and then click on Open With. We're going to select Notepad and then click OK. So this is what we have inside. We have our AGR recording settings up here. We also have all this other code. If we look down here, we have two binds. We have a bind F1, which allows us to start the AGR recording. And we also have bind F2, which just allows us to stop the recording. As you can see down here, these are the settings and this is what's going to appear in the console from the config file. And what it does, it just tells us the current settings that are active. So the first thing we're going to do is put this configuration file into the Counter-Strike configuration folder. Later I will change you later I will show you how to change these settings. So next we're gonna find our CSGO folder. You can check this in Steam, but I know where mine is, so I'm just gonna go straight to that. So I'm going to go to File Explorer and I'm going to Steam Steam Apps Common Counter Strike Global Offensive CS go and then uh, we're looking for the folder called cfg this is where all our configuration files are going to go so we're just going to drag and drop it into the cfg folder i'm just going to copy it for the moment because i need to keep that file the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to launch steam and then launch hlae so we have launched CSGO with HLAE. We've got the console open. So the first thing we're going to do is load a demo. 
So we're going to type into the console play demo. So I hit space and it's come up with one of my demos. So I'm just going to select it and submit it to load. We're then going to hold shift and F2 to get a demo playback and we're going to hit pause. Next we are going to get the console up and the console key is the one below escape on the keyboard. Next we're going to want to go to where the montage starts. So I already know where the tick is, so we're going to type in demo underscore go to tick and I'm going to type in 69000 and hit enter. So this is where our demo starts. I'm not the right person, so I'm just going to remove the console. We're clicking the console key and demo playback by doing shift F2. And I'm going to left click until I get to the person I want. And this is where it is. I'm also going to press space bar. And this is going to put us into the third person view. In order to get the first person AGR, as well as the world view model of this AGR, we're going to need to be in third person view for this to happen. This can be very helpful as a lot of montages will have cinematics that will go to the person shooting, which will be your POV view. But obviously you don't want the hands flowing about, you want the actual world view player model. So this does both, but in the same AGR recording, which means you don't have to record another one to get the world view model, which is great. Next we're going to press Shift F2. You could also do this in the world view by pressing the space bar. Again, the only difference is the camera position, which it doesn't even matter, it's irrelevant. So world view or third person view will get both of the player models and recordings. We're gonna click the console key. We're gonna to want to start by executing our AGR config file. In order to do this, we're gonna type into the console exe -E. We hit spacebar, we're going to click on AGR, and we're going to click on Submit. So if you remember back to when we opened the config file using the notepad, we had this little table at the bottom, and as you can see, that same table is now in our console. So these are all of our commands which have been set. Also bear in mind that this table might not be connect and I'll explain this slightly later but these settings are currently correct. As you can see above we can press F1 to start recording and F2 to stop the recording. So if I click F1 you can see nothing happens. So as you can see in order to use these keybinds we need to make sure we have selected the type box of the console. So make sure that you can type in there. So once we click F1, as you can see, it says it's starting the recording and where it's going to put our recording afterwards. We're then going to click resume. Make sure to click back into your console so that we can stop it when the clip is over. And we're going to click F2 here to stop it. And as you can see, it says finish recording done. Once you've done that, we can just type in exit to close and see us go. So I have now booted up Blender. Before we import, what I'm going to do is get my AGR file. In order to do this, I'm going to go to find where Steam is, go to Steam Apps, Common CS Go and untitled and this will be your latest take so i'm just going to copy this and i'm just going to have to rename it because i've already got some on my desktop but you guys can just put it wherever you want And yeah, I'm just going to paste it here 
for simplicity. I'm going to go back into Blender. I'm going to hit A on my keyboard and hit delete to delete everything. I'm also going to delete this collection at the top. I'm going to also go to my output properties and change the frame rate to 30 FPS. I'm also going to go to a window and toggle the system console just so that we know if Blender has crashed or not. We're going to go to File, then Import, and I'm also going to do Enhanced AGR because I can't be bothered to get my resources directory up. So I'm going to go to Desktop and find the AGR recording that you've just done. And we're just going to import with the default settings. Next, we're going to hit Import. And yeah, get a console up and just wait. Should take maybe like 10 minutes or so. Okay, so our import has finished. We're going to see what we've got. So I'm just going to turn off the material uh, preview. Let's zoom in a little bit. And let's scroll down in our collections. As you can see, we have an AFX camera. We're going to click on the green camera to make it the primary camera so that we can toggle the camera view. And as you can see, uh, it might look familiar to you. I was like super confused when this originally happened because this is not the AFX camera, right? There's no arms, there's no weapons, there's nothing. But if we look closely, this is actually the position of where I was viewing from the game, if that makes sense. It's like the third person camera. So this is the AFX camera in front of us that we need. And yeah, this is consistent throughout our recording. So we'll have both the world view model and the, uh, the view model. So the other thing is, do we have the camera with this? Let's take a closer look. So here is the character. And if you look even closer, here is the arms. See face in a different way. And here is the camera. So if we make that the primary camera, if we scroll along a little bit. So currently the camera is inside our worldview model, but we can just hide him. And if we just view the camera, you can see there's two arms here. So the one on the right is our AGR. I can just tell this based on the position of the gun and the arms. And the other one is more of a world view look. So we can just hide those. And if we just scroll along, as you can see, this is our AGR uh, view of our model and of course we have our world view on as well and that's done in all in one recording something else that has changed even though technically the settings are the same if you look at any other character or all of our characters we all have the view model as well as the world model now. So we can use all the cameras that are already attached. And as you can see, they they seem to be like the view model camera. It might be slightly off, I'm not entirely sure, but it looks correct to me. So you could use any of the view models. And yeah, you just have all that flexibility to basically select anyone. And you sort of have all of their AGRs now, all of their recordings, so that's great. And of course, if you don't want them, you'll have to like hide them or delete them. So Best to delete them.
So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the configuration settings or the AGR settings are in our configuration file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an import where the player models don't come into Blender. It will just be the skeleton and it will just be the gun model as well, but the player models won't be there. So I'm just going to close down Blender and we're going to open up our configuration file. Oh, so we go to CSGO, CFG and open up the AGR. So let's say we didn't want to record the player models. So we're going to change this to zero. Where they're going to come down to where it says AGR player. And where it says AGR player is off, we're going to turn this to on. So basically you wanted the reverse of the command that we've done above. We're then going to scroll down and I believe this is all text, anything that's in the quotation mark. So we can pretty much type in anything in here. So again, this is the table that we have that appears in the CSGO console. Now this doesn't automatically update as we change our code at the top. So what we're going to want to do is, in order to make it consistent, is we're just going to make AGR players zero. So when we load up CSGO, It'll be 010101. If you don't do this, then the commands that we've changed up here will still work. However, it won't update the graph or the table. So if you forget to change this and you haven't used the config for in a while, and you load it up in CSGO and you think it's doing 010001, when it actually might not be doing that. So it's always good to keep it consistent with the commands that you've updated. So once you have done your changes, we're going to use Control S to save the file. And we're going to launch up CSGO again and record it. So I'm in the same AGR clip and we are going to record this in the first person this time. So I'm going to execute our config file. And as you can see, it has changed our table. I'm then going to do F1, resume, click back into our console. And then I'm going to click F2. Okay. And we're going to exit. So I have loaded up Blender. I'm just going to do the same thing. Toggle the console and import the AGR. I've already moved it to my desktop and I've renamed it. And import the default settings. And I'll see you once it's done that. Okay, so that has been done. Just to show you that it does work. As you can see, there are no player models on anything, just the gun models and the player skeletons. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, hopefully it'll give you less errors and stuff and yeah take take care